forget, we got the new shirts on sale today. Very excited about that. And today, a place we've probably both driven by 500 times. Choppers, very nostalgic. They got an adult Happy Meal. Corey's getting a big old meatball sandwich. Come along as we go to North and Ashland for Choppers. Good man, just getting some shots of the outside. The quad burger, this thing has to be insane. Maybe get that next time. Awesome. Thank you so much, appreciate it. All right, a big old bag of food from Choppers Required Jump Cut. All righty. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, see what we got here. Open that up and boom, we're seeing a Jardinera on top of a meatball sub. Yeah. <laughs> you sure are. Place has been there 35 years. Wow. Ooh, the old school. I always get these type of fries when it's like a fish fry at my church. Oh yeah. They're always tasty. And then I got the chop pack. So this is their like $6.99 for fries, a double cheeseburger, and coleslaw. They call it on the online ordering, the adult Happy Meal, and here's what the burger looks like. It's just kind of a traditional, just good looking, nostalgic cheeseburger. I got mayonnaise and mustard on it. You can get a bunch of stuff. I want to keep it kind of simple today. No pickles, no onions, no tomatoes. I just, I want cheese and beef. Guys, look at that cheese melted right there. Mmm. All right, here we go. First time with choppers, two different sandwiches. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Simple and delicious. This is difficult to eat. <laughs> that thing is an adventure. Ooh, meatballs flying. I guess these are like steak fries, but I feel like they have their own little identity. Like puffier. This is a good taste, but it's so difficult to eat. Yeah, that, that's tough. We were saying when the camera's off, gotta be one of the cheapest local places we've ever gotten two sandwiches and stuff. We were out the door for like $13. It's just so, so cheap. That thing was only six bucks. Mm, that's just a solid burger. Guys, this is the bread that I now have. Yeah. And then there's the meatballs. Just decimating it. Yeah, just, <laughs> you need a fork for sure. Which you don't want to have to use when you're eating a meatball sub, you know? No. You want to use your hands, but. It's just too much of a pain in the ass to eat. Sometimes, <laughs> it reminds mm. me of those tacos we had. I know. Where it's like, this is good, I want to say that it's good, but like, no one wants to go through that. Not at all. The eating experience is a lot of times just as important as the actual food. You don't want to have burnt hands trying to hold that thing. Let me get you a napkin. Is there a fork in there? I'm just gonna fork these meatballs. This is... And the bread's supposed to be so I can eat it with the Jardinera. Like it's supposed to be a nice vehicle. Yeah, yeah. But that all fell apart. The bread needs to stay together. Which is so funny. So once again, the literal polar opposite of everything going on over here. The most manageable, easy to eat meal of all time. Burger's not sloppy. Yeah. Fries are simple. <laughs> They're not greasy. Yeah, this is a shame. Mm, dude. The owner said that's the only remaining like business over there that's been there over 30 years. Like everything is new except that restaurant. That's how long it's been there. Yeah, it's a bit of a dead zone. It is. It seems like a place where a lot of things like come and go. Now I'm gonna show you something very genius for this moment, but very sad uh, for the average person to see this, what I'm about to admit. But I've got cutlery from that church's video cleaned and just in my bag, and I don't have any more forks around, so I'm gonna eat my coleslaw with this gold church's fork. Sad, but convenient. Mm. This is just an, uh, sorry Texas, but this is just an abortion. <laughs> sorry, I know you guys Texas. don't wanna see that. Sorry but. Texas. Wow, I've been on a real coleslaw kick. That's, um, that was a damn shame. Yeah. Hate to see that. I know, I really, I really do. It's not even that you're eating it in the car. It's the sandwich itself would have fallen apart, I feel like, in, at a table, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had no hope with that one. Mm -mm. You live and you learn. Don't get the uh, meatball stuff from there. Man, if I lived by there, this would be a frequent stop. It's just so cheap, so much food for $7. Yeah, the cheapness is unbelievable. Absolutely. I, I don't know your opinion on it, but I do not mess with those french fries. Those I, I normally don't. I don't mind these for some reason. one of my least favorite 
Where if I see those, I'm like, yeah, I'll just, I'd rather just have it be a cheaper meal. For sure. And I don't mess with coleslaw. Right. Yeah, I normally like fries way crispier too. But for some reason, this is working right now. I think it's the platter itself. Like, sometimes I think they just like, look, we bought this bulk of fries. You have to get those with these fries or else we're, we know they're trash. Right. We're not going to be able to sell them on their own. Right. <laughs> you think we can get rid of these without forcing you to take them? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Man, mayonnaise and mustard together on a burger. Big fan over here. I like mayonnaise and mustard. It's Such a delicious a good combo. combo. Yeah. yeah. Whew. It's like a mustard mustard aise. A mustard aise. Is that a fancy people thing? Yeah, it's like if you combine two things and they'll put it on a menu at brunch for like eleven dollars. I'm learning something. I can hang out with rich people and <laughs> not look like a fool now. Yeah. And is this good? I said Sunday fun day with these idiots. <gasps> yeah, that's good. That's great. Do you think that's weird? I keep that in my bag. Yeah, oh yeah, you shouldn't admit to that in public. You already know you're a nerd. You, that's like the new age pocket protector, I guess. Like a good way to... It's just, you know, in cutlery? Yeah, it's just like a big sign that says nerd. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice way to let us know. Let us cool kids know. Listen, I've had a food review show with you for five years. If that's the weirdest thing that I do and have in my bag, it's not that bad. Oh, oh I, got a, doing a I got a knife too in case you Whoa. piss me off. Can I help you officers? You got a knife! If there was the Sean Ely action figure that they sold at Toys R Us, it would probably come with a set of cutlery because uh, he's a food reviewer. I heard his camera, I his heard. cutlery. I'd rather die. All right, uh, before we go ahead and do a shout out, what should these folks comment here today? Your sandwich is very hard to eat, right? Okay. Traditionally, like a really good meatball sub, you can still eat it, it stays together, the bread's good, but there's some foods that are inconvenient to eat in general, and you kind of just, you kind of just go around it. Here's one that I, here's a food I don't like eating, and the comment could be, what's a food that you kind of stray away from because you don't like eating it, because it's a pain in the ass sometimes? Ramen, ramen bowls for me. With like the egg in there and all the stuff, like there's you, you gotta use, a, use you gotta use a fork, chopsticks, and a spoon to eat ramen. There's just too much going on. So sometimes I won't eat big ramen bowls because I don't like how inconvenient it is to eat everything. With the you had soup before pork, pork belly is just a big piece had floating soup in the broth. You had soup before, but ramen has like got way more big solid stuff in it than regular soup. Like if it's chicken so and rice things soup that are or more chicken noodles, easily one, to stab one, into. One, yeah, I just all I'm saying is I think ramen can be kind of hard to eat sometimes, and I stray away from it a little bit. But you you had soup. Well, it was hard to eat about it, bro. Soup is all all gets on a spoon. Ramen is like one big piece piece of pork belly. Then you got the long noodles, and then you got a big soft boiled egg in there. I got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> ramen is like very like good ramen bowls are tough to eat. It's kind of annoying. No, they're not. Okay, for me it is. That's my answer. What do you have a food that's tough to eat that you stray away from? I'm so mind blown that you can't eat ramen, bro. It's, it's just a little tough. I don't understand it's the big barely... piece of pork belly. Why don't they cut the pork belly up and put it throughout the bowl? So you, you can, can get that. Oh, I've never had it that way. It I'm gonna ask for a chop. Not with pork belly, but you can get meats that are granulated in there. And then the whole egg. Like what do I? You don't have to have it. I fish that out and take a bite of it like an apple and put it back in the broth. If you want, it's not. I just don't know the strategy. I feel like I'm not doing a good job. It's easy. You you get it from the bowl to your mouth and then you digest it. There's no good or bad I, job. Did I'm running into obstacles when I'm doing it for some reason. I'm jumping you over lost hurdles. Me, bro. You lost me. Oh, out. I know I did. I don't know how that's difficult to eat. But if we could uh, pivot away from that, do you have a food that is like annoying to eat to you, so you don't really eat no, it? No, those we have through our society. I'm sure force those out. So there's nothing hard to eat, it's eating food. You get it from wherever it was cooked at into right. your mouth. I'm, go I'm going to bat for this ramen idea. <laughs> so, bro. All right, know. so you don't have one, I do. If I hope someone, uh, maybe uh, some other people uh, in the comment section I don't section think we should have that be a comment. <laughs> I, li I like this learn. section of the internet we've created. I can say things like it's, that and I feel supported. Uh, feel supported from them. Why? Because they're like nice people most no, of the time. No, they just are, they're sycophants. Uh, <laughs> do you know what that uh, is? Uh, well, like people who just will um, tell you did a good job because they're obsessed with you. Mm, it's like people who just okay. cheer for Trump just because he's Trump. Doesn't matter what he says. That That's, doesn't mean that it's a good thing that just because people cheer for you doesn't mean that you're doing the right thing. Well, now I'm learning that now and I'm really hurt. <laughs> yeah. And like uh, my point was though, you got to bury that man. Don't go around telling people. I'm leaving it in the edit. You can. I want people to know I'm my sure true people, colors. And I'm sure the sycophants, the Sean, the Sean. For sure. And there'll be some people make the fun Sean of The Sean boys are going to go on there and the be Sean like, boys. oh yeah, dude, I know what you mean. Ramen, it's just like soup. It's impossible. Like what are y'all eating yeah. that with? Guys, should Forks? I do a, should I do a Sean Boy set of cutlery? What's that? Fork, spoon, and a knife, and engraved on it is Sean Boy, and it's for the people that are my fans. You just call them Sean Boys. You call them Sean Boys. I'm saying maybe I start up a line of swag with this idea. I'm just seeing how much I can piss you off in ten minutes. <laughs> Knifers, only a few of these beauties left. <laughs> 
All right, so what should the comment actually be? How about the cheapest food in their city on some level? Okay, yeah, because this was probably the, one of the cheapest burger spots in the city. Yeah, it seems like Gotta it. be. What's like a, a $3 burger Yeah, there. is there a spot in your town where you live right now that you're shocked how cheap the food is? Because you, as you guys know, you see a lot of the stuff we do. That had two sides and a burger, and it was $7. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't like trash food. No, it didn't like, look sometimes bad. Sometimes late night Chicago like uh, sausage and beef places, like just kind of thrown together. It's all frozen. It's thawed. That was like good as hell. There you go. So what's yours? Yeah, Toledo, we had a place called the Four Horsemen that had burgers that were mm. good and cheap. Mm. There was a, a, a slider burger place in my hometown called Bates. Bates. It's kind of like the, it was a local White Castle. Bunch of bag of oh. sliders. Real cheap. Delicious. There you go. What's yours? Comment below. And also, what about ramen bowls? <laughs> so tough, bro. I don't know how Campbell's is still a company. <laughs> People are out there struggling to eat oh, broth. Campbell should do a ramen. Like a ramen out of a can. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't. Yeah. Patreon, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. Today, two names of people that have donated because you also always get a shout out in these ridiculous videos where we always get along and never refute anything. So today, two names. Patreon shout out number one goes to Mr. LS. <laughs> That's Luke's story if you guys don't know. Uh, he's been the MVP of some YouTube lives that we've done. He supports us in the comment section, uh, in merch, and also obviously on Patreon. He's a $35 tier uh, stud, which means that he got to choose where we ate. I forget where we, what he chose, but I'm sure it was a great and brilliant choice because he's a great and brilliant man. Yeah, he's really obsessed with Papa John's. He always wants there me to go. say Papa. So there you go, Luke, you, you got it today. There you go, Papa. Lucky, lucky guy. Papa. Hope you enjoyed it, masturbate to that. <laughs> uh, Papa John's. Papa, 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 Papa John's. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Patreon shout out name number two, Mr. Richard Mayers, Mayers, Mayers. I know the story, Richard Mayers, Myers. $10, so we were talking about the $10 tier. He's one of those people, he gets all the stuff early. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Sign up, support the show, help creators, and we get to make more ridiculous videos like this one. All right, time to get out of here, but before we do, let's rate it. Uh, meatball sandwich. The chop pack combo uh, out of five. I think um, like choppers, like spinner rims. Whenever I think of choppers, I think choppers are a bicycle. Oh Remember yeah, West right. Coast choppers. There was a lot of names for the spinners. So there were, yeah, yeah was, there were. Know, kind of regional, like rallies and checkers. Very much. Mine fell apart. It was a travesty. I'm gonna go very similar to the uh, Indian food scoring, where like the taste was great, and I think if they just change it, like man, I hate to say, make the meatball smaller. Cause I don't want that, but there has to be a way I can eat that without it like plopping out. They're round. They're gonna roll, mm -hmm. they're gonna move. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have less friction than other items. So you gotta find a way to keep those in that sandwich better, make that more edible. Um, we ate that within a few, like, I don't know, less than five minutes after we yep. walked out the door. So it's not like it was sitting there and got all weird or anything like that. Taste was very, 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 very good for the price but it was just inedible. I would not suggest getting it as is currently being built. But for taste, I'm gonna give it, I'll give it 2.75. Yeah, my burger combo, the Chop Pack, $7, insane. The fact that you get that massive burger, you can customize it, fries and coleslaw. Obviously you gotta like coleslaw to like want that because you can't substitute that as far as I know. Um, I love all those things, blown away by the price. Uh, the online ordering was amazing. Owner was super nice in there. Everything kind of came together, but the burger and the food itself is what I'm rating. I'm going 4.5. Wow. I'm going wow. Away. For that price. And I think you can get it without the coleslaw and fries. I think that $3 change okay. one is that burger. That's which is, That's crazy, because that's a great size. That might be the best burger deal in the city. It that burger be. that I got was three fifty, dollars and I could have gotten just that. That is the best burger deal in Chicago. It's unbelievable. It's really such a good price, and it looked really good. Not re It didn't look great. But perfect for what it but is. But it looked for, yeah, for Way above that average. price. Mm -hmm. You just aren't gonna beat it. That was great, and the char because it's on that like the flat top. It tasted nice and like I love flat top. That right nice there. like smoke to it almost. Oh, there you Loved go. Loved it, um, George. Congrats on that place, man. 35 years, that's insane. Uh, if you're anywhere near Ashland and North, dude, hit up Choppers real quick and easy. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, so excited. Derek Strong is on the show. Uh, you'll get to know him. He's a comedian and a podcaster, but uh, we're headed down to hang out with him right now, and that episode is live tomorrow. So thank you so much for rocking with us. See you very, very soon.